Well, we are here in Toronto on June the 28th, 2014, and maybe the first thing you can do is tell me your name. Mauro Reategui Perez. Wow. So I am from Peru jungle. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, we can see above here, there are some of the pictures, which we'll do a little bit later. Uh, hang on. There we go. Okay. So tell me, tell me how you were born in Peru. Yeah, I born in a, a small village. Uh huh. Uh, uh, six hour far away from a little far away from my city that I'm living right now. Uh huh. And and where? And what is it called? Pucalpa. Okay. Pucalpa. Okay. So and in that city I met Don Pablo Maringo, that he was my teacher. I studied with him. Uh, to paint and also English a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay, but which uh, comes in handy now. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, thank you. So I met Don Paul when I was fourteen years old, and when I was uh, studying my high school, and then when I was studying three months, I talk talk with Don Paul. I said that I need to stop to learn to paint because I need to finish my high school. Yes. I can do two things in the same way, right? Yeah. So uh, I decided to stop for two years and then I came back to my teacher school to learn how to paint, you know? And uh, when I was 16 years old, come back again to learn. I was in my teacher school uh, five years. Uh -huh. I was in his school five years, mm -hmm. and also I was teaching in his school also, after I learned it. Uh -huh. So I, I was a teacher, uh -huh. and, um, and then I, I went to study at the university, when I finished to, to learn art, to paint, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I went to study at the university education. Which one did you go to? In at, Peru? In Peru, at, to study at university educations. Uh -huh. And then uh, when I finished my university, I was teaching in the high school. Uh -huh. High school, but uh, nine years ago, I decided to stop to teach because uh, I was uh, letting my, my patience. To paint is my yeah. passion. That's your passion. That's my passion. Yeah. Uh, right how now. Old, how old were you at that point nine years ago? How long? How old? How was? Uh, how how old are you now? Oh, I'm forty one. Forty one. Okay. Yeah, forty one. So this is in your thirties. Yeah, I think so. In yeah. your thirties. Okay. So and then uh, I started again to paint, to do to make what I feel. Full time. Full time. Uh, but two years was difficult in my life. I can sell my paintings. Uh, I was guiding to, I was guiding people in the jungle also. Oh yes. So yes. in that moment I was showing my my paintings. Yes. So a small painting that I was doing, so, and and uh, and then when I was in Iquitos in the Amazonian, I met when I was guiding I met a girl from U.S. and uh, she was also artist. And uh, she invited me to do. A, uh, he he gave him uh, a questions to me, ah, and yes. he said, hey, "Mauro, would you like to do an art show with me in yeah, US?" Yeah. I said, "Of course, yeah. I can do yeah. it." Yeah. Okay, I need some nice letter, some invitation from you or yeah. from the, the art gallery director. They did. Yeah. They yeah. did for me, and then I went to ask with this letter at the uh, American Embassy, and they yeah. they said to me, "Here you go." Few interview, they said, "Here you go, your visa." Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, in that moment, I talked with my friend. I said, "Okay, I need to leave to U.S. to do our art show." Yeah, yeah. I did in three states my art show. First was in Boston, and then Maine, and my last week was in North Carolina, Asheville. Oh, Nashville, yeah. Nashville, I have friends place. in Nashville. It's beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful place. place. And I have a oh, yeah. lot of friends over there. Oh, yeah. So yeah. they are amazing yeah. also, yeah. But uh, they, are, they are, are understanding about this kind of medicine that we yes. are using. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I started to paint as a visionary after my teacher's death. 
my teacher, my teacher that almost he died. Sing, she died uh, four years ago. Ah, yeah. Okay. Four years ago, since four years ago. Uh -huh. And then I started to do... My teacher was uh, teaching me like this, just jungle. Uh -huh. Like this painting. Yeah, I'll, I'll Maybe you can up. see yeah, it. Hang on a second. You can see, yeah? My teacher, mm -hmm. all his life in mm -hmm. his school was teaching us all the former students just yeah. jungle, to paint jungle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Na in, in other words, to paint nature. Nature, yeah. yes, yeah. just nature. And then, of course, you, you did something more. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, after that, after my teacher died, that? Mm -hmm. Died, yeah. Died, yeah. Mm -hmm. After my teacher died, I started to do as a visionary because I did my own experience about ayahuasca, I was interested to see, to know what happened with this, yeah. what happened with the medicines. Yeah. Oh, okay, I did my own experience. Yeah. But, you know, my first experience was uh, before I told my, my teacher when I was 16 years old. Uh huh. So, but I was like mute. I never talked with my teacher about, uh -huh. but uh, he said, okay, uh if you do that be careful mm -hmm. so because it's not easy mm -hmm. okay well, no especially problem. if you're you still know? if yeah. you're young i yeah. think it's good i think it's it's good to wait until you're an yeah, adult. yeah 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 so but it's a kind of medicine in peru in the oh, yeah. We, oh yeah before, long time ago a lot know? of a lot of people are going there to yeah. to do it when i was in, in living in the jungle we don't have doctor no, we, we don't have. Oh, no, you have the medicine man. Medicine, jungle medicine, plants, yeah, medicine. Yeah, of That's, course, of course. I was remember that when uh, I went to visit one shaman in, in my village, don, uh, where I born. Uh, and then I was thinking about, so, and then I said, okay, I will go to do again. I will do. I will drink. Yeah. To see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, I understand about these medicines. I have a nice visions. Uh, um, I understand h how we need to live. Mm -hmm. We need to live uh, in harmony. In harmony. And with the colors, mm -hmm. with the birds, with mm -hmm. the animals, with the plants, like with this. the difference like stuff this. in the jungle. Yeah. So we we need to to live in harmony. That's yeah. that I understand. Yeah. 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 So so that right now. I'm showing the world. I'm very happy to, and now I understand also what my teachers was doing. Yeah. So now, I'm very happy to continue in my teacher legacy. Yeah. And uh, helping people with my, with my arts. Yes. Yes. It's uh, for me. It's called uh, visual mm -hmm. healer, like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm enjoying about that and yeah. to, to well, show this is the people. The, the, in other words, you found your life path. Yes. You found, you found the way to go. This, yes. is, this is what you need to do. Yeah. And spread it around with that, others. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. So traveling yeah. in different countries. Yeah. Right now I'm here. I can't believe I'm in Toronto right now. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes when I'm walking in the street in the downtown in Toronto, I said, what am I doing here? Yeah. But when I, I'm <laughs> going close to my paintings, yeah. okay, I know that I'm doing here. Well, but again, I'm very happy continue, to continue in my teacher legacy. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Well, How the, I'm doing. Well, How the people can understand that we are yeah. doing with yeah. my art here. Yeah.
lovely. Was very strong when I was in inside the Maloka. So I have people close to me, uh, like a couple, uh, at least seven or ten people. So, but I get. <laughs> so I will play one more. This is more medi meditation. I do this song when I finish my paintings, when I go in my wall, oh, when my paintings in, in my wall, in my gallery, the small gallery in, in Peru, in Pucallpa. So I like to play this because the energy comes again, close to me, around me, it's my paintings, right?